So, I wonder where Tony Mangan from MyWorldWalk.com is this week. So, for now, let's find out. Where's Tony? Where am I? At the moment, I'm still in my tent. It's after 10 o'clock. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, today is only a 21k day to a town called Alpha. And um, so I just, I'm in no hurry. I'm really tired this morning. I need to have a, a bit of a lie on. And there's, there's no hurry. As you can see, it's uh, I need a shave, I need a shower. It's it's four days since since I left the last town, a place called Anarchy. And um, I'm just about to have breakfast. Breakfast will be porridge and coffee. This is where I camped last night, behind uh, some scrub. Actually, it's, it's pretty good cover at night time. Maybe not so much in the daytime. Time to get up. Outside of the highway. They just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Hi Tony, welcome to Jericho, the smallest town in the west. <laughs> um, you've got a three day walk to Barcaldon, you've got 20 k's to the right, a homestead called Item on the right where you'll get water and another Alice River which is a bit on further, you may get water there's the rest camp. And lots of flies. And plenty of flies, the further you go west, keep me company. flies. They keep me company. <laughs> now, this is the Great Divide. Tell me, what is the Great Divide now, Rob? Now, my opinion of the Great Divide is, you have the shiny asses on the east, and the paupers on the west. And which side are we on? We're on the paupers. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess... I'm the only one in the bar tonight. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for that, Bob. Here doing the driver reviver, which I think every person travelling should experience the driver reviver because it stops and saves a life. That's wonderful, Nora. And tell me, uh, you, you're, you're a volunteer, aren't you, as, as the sign says yes, there? Yes, I'm a volunteer. I do it seven days a week, and we're, I'm allowed to now because there are so few driver revivers in the country. And tell me, Nora, it, it's, is it only for drivers or do you ever give coffee to crazy walkers? Oh, crazy walkers, angry people, but I don't see any of them. They must stay away. So yeah. That's, that's ah. cool. yeah. And it's great fun. You meet thousands of lovely people. That's, that's wonderful. You're doing a great job. Absolutely wonderful job. And thank you so much for the coffee. And, and, and the snacks. Look at this. Look at this, folks. My favourites. My favourites. And ginger. And coffee. Thank you so much, Nola. Okay. Here I am in the Australian Outback bush. And I met two lovely women called Jenny and Michelle. And they gave me, kind of gave me a cup of tea. Jenny, you were saying something about referendums here in Australia. Yeah, we don't have very many referendums. And if we had a referendum on Australia becoming a republic and breaking away from England, they're very sure that the voters would choose that it's time. Even the Queen has said it would be a great thing for Australia to be on their own. But our politicians won't have a referendum for it. We, 
really don't have referendums very often and if they are they don't really concern the general public of Australia which is a shame. And Michelle you you wanted to add something to that? Um, I was in Ireland last year and I was very impressed with how strong the Irish people were and like ref not going to fight in the war unless they wanted to for World War Two, so they actually kept that part of Ireland safe. Yeah. So and you, you studied after your the things that they were the way they were treated prior to that, with no education, if they were a Catholic, and all the churches burnt down. It was just horrific that people were treated. It was mm. actually no different to what Hitler did to the Jews. You've done your you've done your, you've done your you've done your history your history research and uh, you, tell me, did you enjoy Temple Bar? I loved the Temple Bar. Loved it. Have you got anything to say to the people in Temple Bar? Thank you. I had a lovely drink there and I loved the entertainment. And, and I will okay. be now there is a day for more. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Michelle. Thank now there's one more person I want to interview. This man over here. <laughs> what is this? Tell me what is this? What is this? It's this is an ant? An ant mound. A termite mound. Yeah. And, and you like the pink shirt? Beautiful, and as you travel further down the road, you are going to see literally thousands of them all dressed up. And he's got a tip. Okay, Long thank road. you, Jenny. <laughs> Wave to the people. Yay! Thank you, Michelle. Good day from Jericho, Queensland, Australia. So the flies are really bothering me this morning. Anyway, uh, this this week's message. Uh, memory is is from Iran four years ago it's my birthday on April 20th so it was the weekend of my birthday in Iran on my world run the day before I the, my birthday I, I was running along a road and, and a guy stopped and, and he invited me to his home and for dinner with his wife and his son and I had a pleasant evening and then the next day was my birthday I hit the road and as many of my American friends like to do they like to run their birthdays in miles however one thing uh, we all know that Americans are not a metric but as they get smart they adjust they compromise and they soon discover the benefits of the metric system that day I ran a long, long day, let's just say, and flies. And then um, I finished my day and, and slept in a culvert under the road. As I said, um, sometimes we have to make compromises. Everything's possible. Sometimes we have to make compromises. When I was younger, my dream was to walk on the moon. However, I settled for walking the earth. That's a good compromise, be it running your age in miles or kilometers it's all great good day from jericho please remember my cancer awareness message life is precious early cancer screening saves lives and my website myworldwalk.com talk again tony mangan my route this week i'm going on towards winton there was actually a waltzing matilda festival they're opening up a center i would really like to make it but i probably won't april 20th is my birthday it's a pity because it's live music anyway maybe it's a good time to say what i've done so far i've walked across europe russia mongolia china vietnam australia uh, new zealand now i'm walking up towards darwin now that we know where Tony Mangan from MyWorldWalk.com is, let's just wish him a very happy birthday from all at TheEye.News and all of you, his followers. So please share this related video and its article to help prevent all types of cancer and promote Tony's message of early cancer screening being vital. So Tony, thank you and happy birthday.